Hello and welcome to this uh, video which is an overview of a new application available on the Mac App Store called Songwriters Companion. Songwriters Companion is an application that uh, helps songwriters get organized, get focused, and uh, write songs. This is the main window of Songwriters Companion. As you can see it's at this point because it's a, I've just launched it for the first time it's empty. There's no, no songs in it yet. It's uh, going to be up to you, the songwriter, to populate this list here with your ideas for songs, titles and hooks and ideas that you accumulate over time. Uh, you probably have scraps of paper and napkins and notebooks lying around your house. If you've been a songwriter for any uh, length of time, you have got these ideas everywhere and the uh, Songwriters Companion app is going to help you get all those ideas into one place where you can work on them, and develop them, uh, go from works in progress to actual finished songs is the, uh, is the goal. So here in uh, Songwriters Companion you can see that it's got four tabs along the top and this first tab is the Songs tab and what what we're going to do here in this list is we're going to create or uh, capture song ideas. So, for instance, let's say I uh, came home from the tavern last night and I overheard some somebody say something that I thought was a good idea for a song. So, I'm going to come down here and click on the new button. And let's say what I heard somebody say was, uh, "One moment, please." Type that in, and voila, I've got a my first entry into the application, my first idea. So I've got that idea now in my in this list. It's a list of one so far. Over here, there's a count that shows me how many ideas are in my list. And right now, it's just the one. Well, if I wanted to uh, work on that idea, start writing lyrics for it, say I thought I had you know a verse and a chorus already in, in mind for it. I can come over here to the next tab, the lyric tab. I've got I select the song, click on the lyric tab, and now I can use this editor here. It's a full featured text editor to uh, start writing the verses and the choruses. Now at this point, this is just a demo and I don't have any ideas about what the lyric should be for this song. But uh, I do want to show you that this is a, a text editor, and it would work like any text editor you can imagine having used. Uh, you can select your text. You can do things like make the text bigger, make the text smaller, uh, cut, copy, and paste, move things around, etc. So that's just an editor. You can uh, use the font item up here if you want to. Uh, select a different font or well, let's see we could select it, make it bold, make it big, do whatever you want. All kinds of things you could do. So editing text and you uh, you might want to also say capture audio for this. Um, say you already had an idea for what the what the melody is over the chorus or something like that. You want to capture audio, so you come to the next tab, which says audio. As you can see, we've got a record and play button and whatnot. So let's say you hit the record button and play your guitar, capture your ideas. You can name that, uh, you know, chords. And play that back and and there we've got uh, we've got some audio recorded now we're capturing that idea that we had we won't lose it if you've been writing songs for any length of time you know that if you don't write things down you're gonna lose them same goes for uh, melodic ideas if you have no way of capturing it no way of keeping it you're gonna forget it and the uh, next tab that we have over here is a notes 
area. So this is one area that's really optional. Maybe you just want to create a note about how you came up with the idea. It's not really the lyric, it's just data that's associated with your lyric. Uh, maybe you want to capture, let's say I finished the song and I started playing it around and pitching it to publishers or something like that. Well, then I, If I did that, I'd want to create a note and call it uh, pitch notes or something like that. And I would um, I'd keep track of who I pitched it to. Pitched to, uh, you know, Joe Jones, who, uh, you know, probably passed, <laughs> as is so often the case in the music business. But uh, that just gives you an idea that you can save anything that you want about, uh, about in notes about your songs. So let's go back to this first tab again. Actually, let's go back to this, uh, let me go back to the lyrics tab. Uh, there's another item here in the lyrics tab is the uh, label area, this pop-up. If you want, you can create a label or just leave it empty. It's a tool that helps you later search for things. Uh, for instance, let's say I thought this was a rock and roll song. I could come up here and pick rock. Now what's in this list is totally up to you. You add items to this list on your own. Uh, it would normally be empty when you first launch the app, but I've gone ahead and I added a couple. I'll show you how to add um, things to labels, or how to create labels rather. You come up to preferences. You, can, you see I've already added uh, five items here. If I wanted to add another label, let's say I wanted to add, uh, I don't know, Anthem as a description of, of some uh, song type. I've just added it. Anthem now exists. I can go back to this label and call it, let's say this is an Anthem. So now, if I go back here to songs in my song list, you'll see that under the label field for that song it says Anthem. Or maybe I can just go back and change it to change it back to rock more of a rock song. Anyway, uh, you also have a, a column here for version. Uh, you got creation date and modification date. And if you want, let's say you've been working on that song for a while, and you're having different ideas about how the song could go. You, your original idea is developed, but you're thinking, you know, it could also be, it could, the, the lyric could also go a different way. So in other words, you've got multiple versions now in, in, in mind you're not sure which one you really want to go with. You can duplicate a song and now I've got the first version and I've got the second version. Uh, you can, as you can see right there it's versions one and two. So if I double click this, I, I, if I want to edit the lyric I can click on the lyric tab now or I can just double click the song and it'll switch me into the lyric pane. Um, so here it, you can see that it says it's version two and it appended that copy on there. I'll just take that off. So now, now I can start writing, you know, version two of the song. Start taking it in a different direction without losing what I've done so far on version one. It's all still there. Uh, when you do duplicate a song like that, you're really just duplicating the title or hook entry here plus the lyric that is associated with it. You're not, if you have any audio recor uh, recorded for the first version, uh, the original item, you won't be duplicating that. That doesn't come along with it. It's duplicate, you're just duplicating the lyric basically. Um, now if you, as I said before, if you've been writing songs for a while, you probably have files on your computer uh, RTF files or text files, document files uh, that you've created with various word processors um, and they're just you know scattered about your finder perhaps or maybe they're all in one folder if you if you manage to get organized they might be all in one folder and it would be nice to be able to just import them into this app well you can do that with this under the file menu there's an import songs uh, menu item which I'll go to now and I've got a folder here called songs fo song files and I've got a bunch of files in here that represent you know you know maybe years of work of different ideas that have been captured so I'm going to go ahead and just select all of these text files click the open button 
and voila, they're all imported. So now I don't have just the uh, two song, two entries that I added by clicking on new and duplicate. I have all these other songs here that I have imported into the app. So now if I want to edit one of these songs and I just double clicked on it and I'm in the lyrics, let's say at some point I've got to typed in some word, you know, like test and I'm looking for a rhyme for that word. I can come up here to the uh, rhyme icon in the toolbar, click that, and it shows a uh, rhyming dictionary interface. I'll type in the word test in here, and it shows me some results uh, of words that rhyme with test. In this case, the first uh, five shown here are all perfect rhymes, very strong rhymes, because they all happen to contain the word test, the phonemes. So if I don't like any of those, I can I have this control up here at the top. Right now it's set on strong. I can scroll it or move the control down a little bit and I'll get words that are still pretty strong rhymes, but uh, they don't necessarily contain the word test in them. Uh, accessed, uh, armrest, arrest, those are very good rhymes for the word test. And I can just keep moving this control down and get uh, different words that are less and less strong or more and more weak, as you might want to say. Uh, it's also got this syllable control here, in case I just wanted to see words that had, you know, one or two syllables. Uh, as you as you move this control further and further toward the weak setting, you get poorer and poorer results. So when you're at the very weakest, the you're going to find words that are not very good at all. So if you really want to find good rhymes, you're probably going to just stay in the middle area or at the strong, strongest uh, rhymes. So that's the uh, rhyme interface. I'll just close that. And let's go back to the song list. Uh, another thing here, another feature that's very useful is the search field down here at the bottom of this window. After you, you, so right now I've got a count of uh, 24 songs. I created two by clicking the new button and then I added uh, several more and now I'm up to 24 songs in my list here. Now let's say uh, I remember writing a song and I had some particular word in it. it but what if I had 500 songs in this list, all works in progress, all ideas that I've collected over the year or years? Well, to find some particular song, you can use this search field down here at the bottom. You can search by the lyric uh, contents, by the label, or by title, or by all of those items. So I'll just click on all, and I'm gonna. I, I think I remember having putting the word test in one of these documents. So let's just type the word test, and voila, the list is uh, now filtered, showing me only the uh, only the song lyrics that contained uh, the word test somewhere either in the lyric or the title or the label. In this case, Keys to the Kingdom had it right there in the in the lyric uh, area. So, so as you can see, you can, and when you, by the way, when you come back to the song uh, tab, and you, if you if you are seeing far less than you would expect, it's because you have something in the search field. Get rid of that, and now you're back to your entire list. It's no longer filtered. Um, so that's a pretty good overview, I think, for now. It should get you uh, get you interested in this application if you're a songwriter. Um, you can go to the Mac App Store and search for Songwriter's Companion. That's the name of the application. Um, check it out. Let us know what you think. Uh, you'll find our address in the About box, and we'd uh, be interested in hearing what you think about the application. Thanks.